Come, sorrow. We welcome thee. Let us join in grief, rejoice in despair, and honor the fortunate dead. I'm going to have a baby. Right now. Nurse, how close are the contractions? Every 15 seconds, Doctor. Are you in unbearable pain? Is it inhuman? My darling, is it torture? Oui. Oh. Push, Mrs. Adams. Oh. Force it. It's a boy. It's a girl. Go ahead! What news? Father, what is it? It's an Adams. A baby in the house. It's about time. Hey, kiddo. Children, why do you hate the baby? We don't hate him. We just want to play with him. Especially his head. Do you think that when a new baby arrives, one of the other children has to die? Yes. Well, that's just not true. <sighs> not anymore. He was asleep. I opened his skull and removed his brains. You did? <laughs> <laughs> A brother! Brother! <laughs> <laughs> to the Republic. One, two, three. Caramia. Oh, dear. Hi, Adam's residence. Oh, it's old. Welcome to our home. There's a belfry, a swamp, and the dungeon down below. I shouldn't be telling you this. Summer, Summer camp. Camp Chippewa. How charming. Hey, listen up, everybody. I'm Gary Granger. And I'm Becky Martin Granger. We're the honors and directors here at Camp Chippewa. Hey, how about a first little pair of life-saving buddies? Amanda, Wednesday? Is that your bathing suit? Is that your overbite?
Wednesday, you have to continue the ghost story. This is dumb. Well, if you can't do it... And so the next night, the ghost returned to the haunted cabin. And he said to the campers, None of you really believe in me, so I'll have to prove my power. And the next morning, when the campers woke up, all of their old noses had grown back. <gasps> Look at you! Oh, Amanda, you look perfect! <laughs> You're just the prettiest pilgrim I've ever seen! Care! Come and take a look! I'm not perky. <laughs> That's for damn sure. But I want to be. You do? Stay back! He's very sick! This is unspeakable. Is something wrong, Wednesday? Bad news? This is the worst thing that has ever happened in the history of human events. Uncle Fester is getting married. A wedding? But that's great news! To who? The nanny. Get out of the cabin. I mean, I'll kill myself. The help? I think that's disgusting. I think their whole family's like some weird medical experiment. I think they're like circus people. What did you say? Campers! Group hug! It's me. Bye. You'll be right back, won't you? Of course. <sighs> Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes, on reservations. Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadsides. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims. Especially Sarah Miller. I've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground.